We're the UC Berkeley data science team, and we're excited to present our hackathon solution, Carby. Our solution to address the UN Sustainability Goal 8.4, to improve progressively through 2030 global resource efficiency in consumption and production, and endeavor to decouple economic growth from environmental degradation. The current state is that 65% of consumers want to buy from purpose-driven brands that advocate sustainability, but only 26% actually do. Meanwhile, the average carbon footprint per person in the U.S. is 16 tons. Our solution, meet Carby. Our hackathon concept is to augment the decision-making process with an easy-to-use tool that works seamlessly with consumer behavior and life integration. A mobile application is used to take a photo of a product for in-the-moment identification. We feel it helps consumers make a more informed green buying decision, allowing them to feel confident they're doing their part to reduce global warming. We feel that it could incentivize brands to report carbon footprint for their products and further incentivize them to reduce the emissions from producing the products. To see our solution in action, we'd like to show you our working demo set up on Oracle. Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of Carby. Let's analyze a few of these products. This one has a fairly high carbon footprint. There may be some other options for us to choose from. Indeed, there are a few additional options. They look compelling. Let's go find some more. A search for some chocolate. Also, high carbon footprint. Luckily, there are additional options for us to choose from. Let's try another type of chocolate. Ooh, very, very high carbon footprint. Let's see if there are other options. Indeed, there are several additional options to choose from. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Kevin. Now on to customer segmentation. Our customers are environmentally conscious. 70% of consumers in the U.S. and Canada think it is important that a brand is sustainable and eco-friendly. They're climate activists. Gen Zers grew up with the climate change in the forefront, and now they're the activists to educate others and make a change. They shop savvy. They make a difference in the world with the shopping decisions they choose. All right, let's jump into tech and what we worked so hard on over the weekend. The tools we use are Oracle for hosting, Docker and Ubuntu for microservices, Python and Flask for API development, Flutter for mobile development, TensorFlow Lite for client-side object detection, Bootstrap and HTML, JavaScript, CSS for web app development, YOLO and PyTorch for model training, RoboFlow for data augmentation, and Google and Bing search to find additional image examples. For our system design, we have a mobile client end which has its own algorithm to detect objects. A photo of the object is captured and sent to our cloud service for the next level, where advanced machine learning algorithm identifies the product and suggests a more carbon-friendly option if the score is too high. The product detection model was trained on augmented images and validated on images provided by Open Food Facts, where it achieved 100% accuracy. Our data is currently limited to French food data. Next steps will require us to scale out the number of products and types of products. For instance, we believe the ability to scan household items, especially cleaning products, will address an additional need from consumers. For training, we need to label more products or develop a proxy solution to produce a carbon footprint score. In terms of product features, we'd like to implement a feature to search for products. We'd also like to inform users of a product's nutritional value to help address UN Goal 3D. We believe public and private partnerships with the government, grocery stores, and corporations will help drive user adoption. Finally, we wish to finalize our business model canvas to complete our revenue stream. One current idea is to take a proportion of sales from suggested better carbon footprint products. Thank you for hosting this hackathon, and a major thank you to our entire team who worked tirelessly over the weekend. We hope you enjoyed our presentation.